All right, Mike, thanks. Uh, we hear this story far too often. Teens committing suicide, and it happened again this week at Fairfield Ward High. So tonight, parents are learning the warning signs from a top expert. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven at Fairfield School District building right now. John, it's just another heartbreaking loss at Ward. Yeah, and Eric, the school district does not want this to happen again. So tonight, they brought in a national expert. She says parents might need to take a different approach in talking to their kids. Fairfield Ward High morning, another student lost to suicide. You know, there's, there's so many things that we can say about yeah. him. Jim and Kristen Cutso know that pain all too well. Their son Kevin was a ward student. He would have graduated in June. He started to struggle. His grades were struggling. Um, he was failing a class, which he had never done before. Thursday night, ward parents met virtually with a national teen suicide expert. Leaving notes for journaling, for texting parents. I have some families that I work with that have come up with, um, you know, just kind of a secret language back and forth between parent and adolescent of emojis only. Help is available. Teen suicides are up in Connecticut, but there is help. The state just passed three new mental health laws. Starting next year, most insurance plans will cover two evaluations a year, no preauthorization or copay required. And for low income parents, the state will cover treatment that insurance doesn't. Schools will also get more psychologists, but Dr. Roy says the first line of defense is parents and friends. The mental health field can't handle this crisis. We're not going to be able to get us out of this crisis alone. We also need to check in on our friends as well. Hey, are you okay? Kristen, how are you doing today? You know, it's it's simple as that. So simple, but teenagers can be very complicated as well. Now, if you are struggling, remember the new 988 National Emergency Suicide Line is now up and running. And Roxanne, we got a lot more valuable information tonight from Dr. Roy. Folks can head over to the News 12 app and see the full interview for themselves.